So here we're starting off with lots and lots of waste material. Nothing special. Just uh, black, white, gray stuff that was left over from I don't know what and I don't know when. Maybe there was a fire. Maybe there was a nuclear bomb or an oil spill. I don't know what it was. But here are the leftovers. And this is not where we want to be. This is hazardous. So can we come out of this? garbage and mess and be somewhere better I think we can it's been proven that if you go to a site of destruction that there has been a lot of damage to the ecosystem of an area and it's in ruins and it's dead and nothing can grow there anymore and you bring along some mushrooms so what will happen is that mushrooms attract insects and insects attract birds and birds carry seeds and seeds as we all know grow plants so from your quiet little mushroom which is basically just mold spores you can rebuild a whole ecosystem and mushrooms can even reduce the amount of damage caused by nuclear or oil spills they can just slowly eat it up and take it away so from the depths of despair and damage you can slowly reach lovely blue skies I've got some good friends, fellow YouTubers, and they decided to buy a huge piece of land in the middle of Portugal. Land that was, I um, wouldn't say it was ruined, but there was not much growing there except for weeds. And all the houses over there are broken and they're really old and they are determined to live on their land and use whatever resources they can to support themselves and their animals and they're building their own mini ecosystem on their land And they use whatever they can and they don't waste anything and they've got very interesting recipes and fascinating ways of doing things so if you're interested in watching people live an off-grid lifestyle even if it's not for you like I'll say it's not for me I can't live an off-grid life but I find it fascinating to watch them do it and I get ideas of how to be nicer to the planet and better to the environment by watching them do their work and live their life it's really interesting so the link to their channels in the description and besides for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that yet you can subscribe to their channel 
and it's not about art. That's what we're here for. It's about living an off-grid life and making the most of what you have and coming out of the depths of despair and reaching for the sunlight. So at the bottom of my painting, there was just nothing. And slowly we, we got some color. We made some, some distant mountains. And we have a biohazardous container over here. And coming out of it is a, a small orange tree. And the bottom of the orange tree is it's also sort of dead because it takes time and it takes a lot to get from all the way down there to all the way up there. But at the top of the tree we've got some hummingbirds and juicy oranges and butterflies. So whatever you're trying to do, if you're starting from ground zero or less than that, it will take time and a lot of effort and you might just be seeing a lot of gray for a while. But if you keep doing it, you'll get there one day. I'm hoping to get there one day also. So, do me a favor, subscribe, like, watch my videos, and refer them to your friends. I noticed that orange trees, the flowers are still blooming while the oranges are growing. And that's a really very pretty combination of white flowers and orange oranges since usually flowers fall off before the fruit starts to grow. So thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my video and stay cheerful. Have a great day.